Louis Jane. How are you going today? Oh my gosh, right. So, just going to pop here and say hello, hello. Uh, made my little sign. <laughs> so that could be on the thumbnail. Right, I've got something new to show you today. Where am I looking? Is that the camera there? Is that the camera there? Oh, who knows? Um, yes. Is she overexcited and a little crazy? Uh, yes, yeah, she is. She is. Okay, so what I thought I would show you is not just the gorgeous tapes. The tapes in question. Uh, but where they came from, because most of these, you were here when I created them. Well, I did them during various live streams, whether it was here on YouTube or I've done hundreds and hundreds of live streams over on uh, Facebook as well. And uh, what is going on there? Oh, we've had a blue tack uh, explosion. Should we should remove that. So I thought I would show you some of the inspiration behind things. And to be honest, sometimes I can't remember if I created things during a live stream or not. So this journal, it's not top secret anymore because most of the things that are in here have since come out. And anyway, how are you doing? I didn't even ask you. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're doing really well. Right. Um, love those little mermies. So a lot of the artwork that you see in my journals, you have seen it come together. Some you haven't because it's, I'm testing things all the time. And it's actually very hard for me to remember what, uh, what comes from where. But anyway, oh, that was the last uh, washi set there. So let's start with the first one. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to go from these ones that I've already unwound. We'll keep those ones pristine. So this particular uh, washi tape, so it's two inches wide. It's the widest washi I've ever done. And I was thinking of use, you could use it more like stickers as well as designs that kind of look nice all together. So this particular one, she keeps on flicking. Oh, I think it's here. Didn't I just have it open? Yeah, I know it's in here. Oh, this is all tippy toes ink. And this is uh, the original tests for the what turned into the colour library. Sometimes things don't find their name for a little while and that the name comes gradually but that's they testing my colours for this so these journals are full of that and all the gorgeous creatures here. So maybe I didn't do this one live I can't quite remember maybe I did parts of it. But this is uh, watercolour and this features here and I flipped it just for the sake of the design, it just fitted better. Uh, another part of the design is the welcome mat colours, so they feature here, I just love these. I just love doing little faces for swatching. I've popped a little bit there but I'm going to pop a little one on here too, collage, collage, collage. It's a bit of a wild and crazy page. So the idea with these new washies is you can use them as just normal old washi tape, as however you usually use decorative tape. But because it's so wide, it's just, it's like a roll of stickers. Aren't they cool? Okay, so we'll incorporate those in uh, another second. I especially want to do these ones. I might pop them there. And this little white lady is from here. And this was... Uh, when I was doing the Pigments of Imagination live streams. Oh, this was from January, actually, from our Jane Austen-inspired prompt jewels. So colours on screen look a little less saturated than in real life. Uh, but it's nice and bright, so you can see everything. 
So that is the dream catcher, no, dream weaver tape. I'm just going to wind her up a little bit like that and then let her dangle from there. Now the next one I want to show you is, remember when we I did this with you? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't actually expect you to remember live streams at all. <laughs> Oops, so this one was dangly, I managed to rip it off there, but I've turned that into a repeating design that uh, rolls along. And so when you put this on the paper, it goes translucent, like here. But if you've got really excited, you can tear or cut. Even not cutting exactly um, looks really good too. So did I do that on... I did do that somewhere, but I don't know where now. Because I've been playing with these tapes uh, since they arrived. Oh, no, you can't look at those. Woo. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I sort of started cutting around these ones and I started layering them. This is another tape that's coming. This is another tape that's coming. And uh, there are a few little secrets popped here and there. So I might just... Actually, I think I prefer the torn edge. So I'll just neatly tear it. It's just something nice about tearing washi tape. Is anyone else um, addicted to washi tape? Oh my gosh. I've got such a massive collection, but I can't really use it that much because well, I don't use, uh, think, you know, like other people's copyrighted designs in my artwork. You know, I have to avoid that. And so that's why I don't, like my, I've got a huge, um, like paper napkin collection, and but I really have to use my own ones. So anyway, but that's just a limitation on me. That's a, a fairly specific limitation. But, oh, and this was on the watercolour gesso. I think I was showing you how to use that. And then this is Welcome Mat Watercolours, bit of pebble pigments, um, this must have been just normal watercolour as well. I can't quite remember. I'd have to rewatch the video. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> but the watercolour gesso in the Smooth Operator Journal. Oh, this is another one. So this is not this artwork. But this next tape, this is the Brush Ballet uh, tape. Oh, no, I'll use it from here. I just, I love rainbow, as you know. You probably do as well. And this is from testing. So that was actually watercolour gesso tests just there. And this was showing the way that the different brush ballet brushes work. So this is the um, pirouette set, I think. So just showing the angles, the filberts, the flats, the mops, and how they, how the brush strokes are different and how you create differently with each one. And then I turned that into uh, this shape here. Love rainbow. I especially like putting a little bit of rainbow in uh, when I'm book doing, using them for book binding, that sort of thing. I'm just gonna pull some off, leave it there. And then this is uh, watercolor. I think it's probably colored library, it looks like to me. And is it, or is it ink? Might be ink actually, might be both. And then I've used Tippy Toes pens over the top, the metallic markers, to add a little bit of zhuzh. Uh, I absolutely love doing that. I have hurt my wrist in my excitement running around being crazy. I've done something to my wrist. So I'm gonna have to uh, ice that because this is my, my creative tool. And then during, as part of the Gods and Monsters workshops, uh, this, and actually I think this is a live stream or a video that I have on YouTube as well that I did um, to show Pigments of Imagination, I think this is. And this is from the Gods and Monsters workshops. I created this washi tape, which I just am... Um, crazy about with all the little figures so we have the Pleiades which is a story of the seven sisters uh, from ancient Greece 
It's actually one of the old, it's in lots and lots of different uh, ancient cultures as a story. And uh, it's to do with the Pleiades, which is a constellation. Uh, and this was just different. It's, just, it's a very simple technique to paint little people walking along. And so we turned those into uh, a washi. This, oh, would that be my most used one? I don't know yet. It's too early to tell. Does it matter? Uh, it doesn't matter. So, um, the only competition is amongst themselves. So what I'll need to do, actually, because all of my washi towers are full, I need another washi tower, and luckily I know where there is one. I'm just going to... You look at that for a second while I grab my washi towel. <laughs> don't say I don't give you eye candy. Okay. My washi tape tree. No, I don't. I didn't I don't have room for it in here. I did take it to work. And washi tapes. Uh, deteriorate when they're out if they get sun on them there because they're they're not meant to be a permanent thing and I don't use the other designs like I said so the washi tape tree I don't have anymore and it looked awesome I loved having it but it was actually quite hard to pull the tapes off I must say <laughs> so it's one of those things that was a it was more of an aesthetic thing uh, but yes, the washi tape tree. I haven't got room for that in here anymore. My goodness, I've got so many gorgeous books. I've got a whole bookcase there. That's what's going on now. Um, right. And the addiction to books is even worse than the washi tapes. So this is my little um, washi tape tower. I put the little feeties on. Just gives it a little bit of extra stability. Oh, I don't think the sticky came off that. So these are something you can get on my website as well. I do need to do them again because we will run out of these. But they just, I'll just show you. I've got to put the feeties on first. Do you need the little silicon feet? I like the little silicon feet on things. It just gives things a little bit of extra stability. So then you can pop your washies on like so. And now I have, rather than have my washi tree, I have a little washi forest just over there off to the side with just all my washi tapes and a few from Japan which would be my latest washies. So that's the new fellows, ladies, gentlemen, on there. I've got, lots, I've got two whole towers of eyes and another tower of bright colours. I try and keep them in little stories, but... Oh, I'm plain ones, like with my plain washies. Here are some of the others. Some of these we just don't have anymore. They've sold out, like I think the Little Mermaids. Um, I think they, I don't have those, I don't think I have these anymore, these might, um, that set, but they're all limited edition, I don't tend to repeat the washi tapes, it just depends, these ones, um, because I want to do something new and I don't have unlimited space forever and ever and ever. Okay, hey Zandra, hey Babs, how you going? Um, <laughs> oh yes, Miss Lulu says she really enjoyed the Gods and Monsters workshop. So did I. It was wonderful fun. So I love to put the washi tape in with the original art. Uh, just for me, it's just like a little circular moment as we add things. Now let's uh, show you some of the ways that I like to use my washi tapes. Like this, especially in um, vintage journals as well because um, oh, I might even have some in here where I've used my washi uh, tapes. If I'm adding in a page where I need to do a little bit of uh, TLC with a journal, especially with a, a vintage one, so I'll show you that later. 
also like to use it as collage. That's where I've used some of the Dreamer um, washi tape with my Creative Expressions uh, collaboration that I did. It's like a little set of three. The gorgeous. Oh, I haven't had two. Oh, here we go. So this is with the um, page patch, just tipping in a, an extra page using the washi. I've used plain washi there. Boring. Because I maybe didn't want to take away from the art just here. And it is better to use a wider tape. And it feels nice to use a finer one. It's just washi tape is not really made for holding things together like a suspension bridge. It's um, a decorative tape from Japan with the idea that it's used for present giving, so it's meant to be removable. Um, so it doesn't tear the paper, so you can undo it elegantly. That's the purpose behind it. And then it's just become this whole other thing. Uh, I really have always wanted to do a super matte tape. You can get some, but usually they've got the paper backing because it has to, if it's too papery and matte, the adhesive will stick to it. So you can't, it does have to have that little waxy coating. Um, but anyway, you can still use it with your artwork. It works um, fine with acrylic over the top. Uh, even layer cake works over it. Um, not all pens, but I'll show you which ones do because I'm going to do some little. I'm going to add it into a little bit of artwork. Why not? So I also like to use it to uh, help edges. And this is all washi tape all around here where I've got fragile papers and it just helps keep the paper together because it just adds its little strength to it. Uh, over time, if it did become unsticky, I really haven't ever seen that, but there's no, that could happen. I've seen it happen with just normal tape. Um, just glue it down again. It's just, it's not a big deal. Put a bit of glue under it and actually stick it down. So I've used it here. See, this is another a page. I've got a bit of sewing on it. And I've used the washi tape to insert the page. It's called a tip in when we do that. I've also used the washi tape as collage on my little toucans here and on my little dress on here as well as holding it in. I love her. And just to help strengthen pages. So I find it extremely helpful. Um, I like to get all of my tapes out and I've also got some that's full sheets. I've got um, ones that are like in a little booklet and I just usually get them out and my journal tattoos and just have a little free-for-all with the different uh, tapes. But this just helps us fix any splits and it looks good. Ah, that's all the colours. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of a wander through the journal. This is the Godiva tape. And very often, I'll show you again anyway, I, I take off a little bit and I wind it back over. So, you know, I've got it here and whatever the little end is, I wind it back over because then your page has got the washi tape. It's just a bit stronger there where you're turning the page from and so I just lap it over and if it it just adds a little bit of visual extra visual interest or you could just snip it so that's washi tape in some of its forms here I've used it to stick down another little bit of artwork that came from something else just created a little bit of collage with the washi tape here super easy way to create with. Terrific if you're traveling because you don't have any glue. Uh, you're just psh, psh, psh. so you have to have at least one roll of washi tape when you travel so you can you know, just pop little things that you collect up and ticket stubs and little memories into whatever it is that you're doing. That's what I like to do anyway. That's what I like to do. Right. Let me have a quick little look for questions. So these are on the website now. Uh, Bonnie's asked for a little tutorial on painting the people. It's in my Gods and Monsters workshop. 
and I think I do have a video on each of the live streams uh, as well. It's either here or in my Facebook group. Um, but yeah, it's in the uh, Gods and Monsters workshop too, which is excellent. I must I put a lot of work into my workshops to make them as amazing as I can. This is all washi in here. I also find washi tape really good for, say if you've done some journaling and it's super personal and you might not want other people to read it, one, or you might not want to read it back. Uh, you're just not ready to, you've gotten something off your mind, you don't want it to completely paint over it because it's part of a journey but I, I find washi tape can be very handy for that too because you can remove it. You have to be a little bit gentle, you know, you can lift off whatever's underneath it but it can be a helpful little masking tool as well and um, handy to mask out areas, paint over them, remove it. If you're going to do that, um, do this trick where you get the washi tape and put it on your clothes. Oh, here yeah, I'll do super. There we go. So you get the washi, and see, because I have dogs, so there's always or, or cotton. I have natural fibres. Very hot where I live, so I just wear natural fibres. So there's always little fibres coming off. So if you do pat it on your clothes take a little bit of lint off but also you reduce the stickiness of the paper of the of the tape on purpose and then when you want to remove it's much easier to remove um, so there you go <laughs> never dulling a sparkle no she's not this is star power look at that Now, was this where I was playing around? <gasps> Love the journal tattoos. Where was I playing around? I've already put one of the little faces there thinking, oh, that would be fun. Ah, I can't remember. It could be anywhere. Oh, yeah, and no, I showed you that. Love her. But see something like this so this is just this is color library I've sprayed through um, with laces and just spraying through uh, with the beautiful little felt sprayers just different colors and masked out some patterns and just let it sit and got all this lovely texture so then let's I'm going to use these girls, I think. I'm going to use them like stickers to kick off a little bit more art. Oh, I can't stand. I've got them all flapping around over there. I don't think I like that that much. And I might flip them up. Sorry, girls. If I wanted to, I could... Oh. Take off a little bit of this excess, just, oops, took a whole chin off, sorry love. And then it's one of these tools that you can audition. I'll just keep her chin in my other hand. So if I put her up here, then I could have a long flowing dress or something. Or maybe I could have the two girls here. Maybe I'll have them next to each other because they're quite small. Give her her chin back. Oh, it's quite interesting to have the fraction like that actually and then I'll just give them a little bit more room though and I might if, if the faces are tilted it says something different than if they're both it's got a little bit of body language happening so I might even reposition this so if, if you're repositioning things you are uh, affecting probably the adhesion, but it'd be, it'd be fine. The corners might get a bit uh, dog-eared. Dogs are nice though, so that's all right. 
Oh, I can just redraw this. I don't want to. I want to put it back on her. Okay. And this is like one of the things that I love about this sort of thing is it, it sort of just kicks off your art in just a different little direction than what you thought you were going to be doing. Well, especially if you didn't know what you were going to be doing. So what are we up to? What's the date? 10th Feb. Trying to save face. Oh, well, I was trying to save her face there, wasn't I? And straight faced. Okay. Well, it doesn't, all of them are going to kind of fit in with what uh, I'm doing here. Sorry, I'm just trying to put this little, I love this little journal with the pigments of imagination. And uh, I'm just putting her back in her cover so she stays all nice and pristine. Put her away. Right. Have we stop. Have we finished fluffing about now, Jane? Have you? Have you? Are you quite done? And put that washi tape there. making a little washi tape hat. Oops, that's not what I intended to happen. But let's just uh, go along with it. Just collaging is fun. Because you can, you know, test little ideas out. And do you know what? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if, could I make that like a little dress or like this, like a little dress? And there's metres and metres of this. It's, like, um, it's hard to use up a whole washi tape. I'm just wondering if I can sort of make that a little print in her dress. That's a too, it might be too distinct for that idea, so... I'll, just pop her over there for this time being. And maybe I could turn that around and make it a little matchy poo. Might give her, she might have stripes. match. Maybe that's her hand coming out like that. Oh, I could even reverse it and get a little bit of a matchy poo happening. It's not important for matchy poos and I quite like to do that. There's something very um, satisfying about curling it around the corner. So we've got a little bit of a an idea happening here. Probably be better if I um, had a plainer background beneath it, but I don't. I don't know if I if it's that important. I think it's going to be fine as it is. I'm going to add a little bit of extra around here. Yes.
Pam says she can't believe she's 20 minutes late. Don't worry, Pam, so was I. And I set the time for my own thing and I was still late. So, you know, ridiculous. I'm just having a little collage over here. Just take that around the corner. I think that we might use this like a little pattern uh, for her. I might even lift this one up and over. Oh, might, that might give her a little bobble head. Nice. So I'm just, I'm just playing with a little bit of collage here. Oh, I'm getting into it now. Scissors have come out. Now, like I said, this is, oh no, I'll trim this one off. Uh, it does have that waxy coating, so not everything works on it. Colour pencil doesn't work on it, for instance. Oh, it's nice to use this page. I've been avoiding it because I really love it. And I'm not, I don't want to draw, I don't want to take too much away from this. So I just want to add something to it. But otherwise, it's, it's just that, really. And that's okay. It can be just that. But, um... I want all the things, okay? Hmm. Just pop her there. Oh, I want to put a bit more of that over here. I'm procrastinating in case you didn't realise. I realised it, but I just wanted to point it out. And I'm just I'm gonna rip her eyes off. Sorry, love. Probably feels a bit violent, but don't worry, you'll still be able to see. Oh, I could even. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> They're too big. I love it. <gasps> oh, yes. Right, but I'll cut the side of her uh, face off, sorry. So then it doesn't have to be a turned face, just big eyes. Just um, changing things around a little. She's like, something about you is different. What, 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 what's different? Are you, are you wearing your hair in a new way? What's, what's changed? She can't work it out. She's got a whole new set of eyes. That's what's happened. I'll give her these little tiny ones now. <laughs> Maybe we could give her... Oh, I ripped it off. Oh, well. We'll give her some little eyes in there. We'll just junk it up a little. Just, uh, I've just got some little bits and pieces. Uh, the fun thing is, is if I want to take these off, move them, I can. It's just it's very easy to lift them on and off. And yeah, just junk it up a bit. So it's not so. Pristine, but it's not so because it's not pristine. <coughs> so that when I draw over it, I've got some fun happening. Now, things that are going to work well over the top are the Wonder Writer. I could have called this the Washi Writer. Uh, brush with Fame, a good on these. I'll just show you. Oh, so no. And LTQ. Wait a minute. So brush with fame. 
I thought brush with flame. I've used them on the washies, on the paint. Mm, no, it's not going to not cut it. I'm going to have to get a little. Oh, okay. It just depends on the colour. Okay, so it's going to be the colours with more white in them are going to be fine. Okay. Yeah. Because the black doesn't have the opacity things in them, so it's just not going to stick. But it is on. No, no, that's the paper. There you go. Well, that doesn't worry us because we've got lots of other things we can use. Just doing a little test. We'll see even that one's just shrinking, balling up a little bit. So uh, I'm just picking which is my best one. And why do black anyway? What, what's wrong with you, love? Why do you have to only use that? We've got lots of other choices. I'm just going to take that because it's going to smear. Um, let's uh, do dark blue and dark brown. Sorry, I'm just getting my... Oh, get out of my way. My ideas are popping and my art supplies are being a na naughty. They weren't jumping out to be used. They were being naughty. Right. Oh, no brown. I've got brown here. Should we give her a little neck? Let's just see. I'll give her a little neck as well. And then this is her dress. So I'm going to give her a little bit of a, a little V neck here. Could make her neck a little bit longer. Ew, got a bug in my eyes. I'll give her a little neckline as well. I do tend to do a V neck neckline quite often when I'm constructing an image just because there's a point so it's like a chin there's a definite end point no matter how round the face is the chin definitely has a little bit of an end point because of the skull and having a v-neck top or a shirt you know that's got a v as well just gives a middle point so that really helps um with the illusion of the figure turning. So I just tend to do that. Oh, Daddy says mirror, mirror. Let's try that on there. Should be okay. And I'll show you what to do if, if things are not. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, if things are not, a little bit of matte medium is the key. So I'm going to pop that over this little collage here. Now, it will bead up the first little um, spread of the matte medium usually let that dry off see there you can see it beading uh, on there it's amazing that anything could go on these um, things to be honest but it's all good I, I might even put a little bit on this and then we let it dry and come back over with another layer and that will go into the areas that um, didn't beat up last time actually I might even put some on her eyes there why not well should I just do the whole face I'll just do the whole face and then we've got a little comparison it won't take long to dry because it's a very thin little layer I just have to avoid where I've painted with that brown pen and this is something you can also do with the tattoo um, the journal tattoos uh, if there's a particular uh, media that you want to use over the top of them and they're resisting a little bit give them a little very light little glaze with the matte medium or the collage medium and then wait let it dry and uh, work on this one while that one's drying. So what are we going to do first? So pencil's not really going to work. We'll do a little bit though. Oops. It is 
because it's indenting it because I'm pressing hard. A little bit of colour is coming out, but it's not ideal. It's not the, the nice. It doesn't feel that nice. And of course, I can add a little bit of a paint pen over the top because this does work very nicely. Let that one dry. We can add. A, like a different lip colour, maybe let's go, I'll add a little bit of a, a lighter colour on the lips. Transition vamp. And I want her skin to stay a darker colour. Um, let's bookend this so it's not just boom hat let's have a sculptural hair shape uh, I'm just gonna grab my symmetry my little face math grid just so I can have a little bit of a symmetrical face here I'm just gonna keep off that and a little bit of symmetrical hair I think that could be kind of fun so let's line this up Oh, I might need to do a more fun colour for the hair. But we'll start with this. Might be too close to the um, face colour. So I love brown and purple, so I might put a little bit more purple on. Uh, I might put a little bit of molding with that might even bring this around in here as well so i'm going coming on and off the washi tape now and that brown um, ink isn't really quite dry so it'll mix in a little bit that'll be quite nice but when i put that to bed I might want to just clean that off a little. Oh, helicopter. Okay. Does Washi have a lifespan? Yes. Yes, they don't. Um, they do get old. Um, all you need to do, if one has got not, it's usually sunshine or it's just had too much air. Too much oxygen and <laughs> it's gone lightheaded. Sometimes that's just those outer rims. I've got a, a plain green washi tape that I was just trying to use up and um, I've, I've, I just had to go down. I had to, I had to waste a little bit. Um, I use it on whiteboards. Like ma I've got ma magnetic, you know, dry erase whiteboards to plan everything and I use washi tape to divide things up. I use different colours and it's just had been sitting where there was light coming through the thing and uh, just unwrap a little bit and see how you go usually you can get down it's like if a toilet roll drops into a bit of water it's just the outside bit that you need to um, you can't use immediately just <laughs> try and use that somehow I guess we don't want to be wasteful but it, that just does happen over time and like all things you know they're not made to last forever it's nice if they do so it's just a good reminder to use things up if you've and for myself as well use them don't save things use them up and uh, oh I forgot that we're letting that dry but it's fine Now I'm going to add a little shadow here. So I am going to turn this into some sort of hat. Do I just leave it like that? Um, I've got that bit of white there. So what I might do, I wonder if I could just, because watercolour will not work on washi tape. But if I just trick, I could just tricksy this perhaps, just with some purple, rather than coming in and cutting it all out, which, ugh, no thank you. But if I just, you know, just 
tricks later on. I just want it to not annoy me and just sort of disappear into a little bit of a white outline there. And then I'll swap into a bit more of a blue. Isn't washy like, did you think washy was going to be this much fun, did you? <laughs> well, I knew it was because I've, I've uh, you know, used it before. And I feel like with washy, I have to make it, um, it has to do a lot of stuff. Otherwise, you, you're just never going to use it up, which is part of our discussion, I guess. So it's got to be amazing. So I, I do try very hard with my washies to make them just more than just pretty of their own accord. I like them to try and be useful, like, you know, the eyes. These are the cut-out eyes. This is the Godiva hair tresses. You know, we can create hair with this. Um, I've got lots and lots and lots of eyes. In fact, I didn't do eyes in just this particular little live stream collection um a set of just eyes but we do we do really because it's big and there's faces in there so we do so now this is pretty dry this is pretty dry i can i can it just increases the amount of things that i can work on top of it with um on this side it's dry enough that i could add another little bit and um Especially this particular tape. You would really only bother doing this if you were going to create other things on top of it, perhaps. Um, but it also does help uh, seal things and keep them all down. It doesn't really need it, but the option is there for you should you need it. So it looks shiny at the moment, but that will, of course, dry matte and you can always add another coat too like you can just keep going um, just thin coats is always better than a big thick coat remember I was teaching at a great big like paper craft fair and I had we were doing some collage and this and that and I, was, I had a classroom of of must have been it felt like a hundred people must have been 50 people and it felt like a thousand people to be honest and uh, I was trying to keep a watch on everyone and when I turned my back for a minute and a lady we were using collage doing collage so just thin amount of matte medium otherwise it would never dry especially in a classroom setting like that you know where it was like a little one hour class honestly she had made matte medium mountain I think she was going to make a sculptural thing I was just like oh my gosh I didn't want to panic or say anything rude and make her feel like she'd done the wrong thing or even though she mm -hmm hadn't listened I just was like oh my goodness oh well <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to take take that one home with you today you'd be walking around the rest of the festival with a mound of sticky glue with tissue stuck in it right so your body is starting to turn to me so I'm going to I might even use this marker it's beading up a little bit that just means it's going to I'm getting a lovely irregular edge happening and it'll just take a little bit longer to dry but that's all right she says now are they gonna hold hands I think they're gonna be like these girls here they're holding hands these are friends She's like, even though your eyes, something about you looks very different. Um, you're still my friend and I'm here for you, no matter what you're going through. This is just a little simple dress figure. And to uh, come around it, I could use a little bit of um, matte and a gesso what color I might go white because that's what we've got here cream I might do cream and white okay well that reminds me I've got to get another cream I'm getting towards the end of this little fellow come on love now there's not much in there
and this will be like the matte medium. Um, I might just have to do a couple of layers. Uh, this one's just working better. I'm just knocking back that other bit of the washi tape just to get, bring some shape into it so I can make a little body. And then I'll, I'll come out beyond it though. And this might be her little arm coming out, this one. Might make her shoulder a bit smaller. So I've got this little body coming like this, and this little body like this. So we'll still be able to see through it, but we're just creating some little figures here. And this might end up being another little. Could do. I could use these faces again. Create some or draw some. Now nah, too young, who knows what will happen. And if I just leave that for a second to dry. And I think she needs a little bit of hair and a bit of definition as to what's going on here too. Okay, I'm gonna do hot pink. She's got pink here, so she's going to coordinate. She's got ruby as well. Oh, look at that. And I like how this, I've got these little doodles coming out the side. It's almost like feathers. But we'll just define this a little. Should we give her pink hair or should she have purple hair as well? And we'll give her a little bit of sculptural hair also. Oh, I've got a bit of I might give her Some purple eyes. Mm. Right. Um, well, the octopus uh, pen is coming. Not quite yet, but it's not. It'll be eventually. Okay. Yeah, the glass dip pens. Mm -mm. Okay, now I'm just um, oh, looking through at questions. Ah, oh, Debbie Martin, YouTube just kicked her out for me. I don't know what you did, Debbie. I didn't kick you out. Um, maybe there was like an ad trying to start or something. I have to unfortunately put the, the ads, um, I do, I have it on the lowest setting, so the least intrusive. But if I don't have the ads, I feel that it just, because, um, you know, not that um, YouTube's making a huge amount off me or anything, but I just feel that if I don't have the ads there at all, it doesn't, it, the notifications just don't work there as well. Um, because, you know, it's not making money off you. So by having you watch it. So um, anyway, every so often a little ad will appear. Sorry about that. But it's just, it is what it is. If you have the ad-free thing, it, you won't get it. So I, I, I pay for that, for my own self. But I love YouTube. I love watching YouTube. Cool, so I need to get some colour in here so this all makes better sense. So I can add that uh, in as we go, like as I progress.
I'm just knocking all of this back a little. Yeah, because it doesn't really make sense without the colour in there, does it? So let me get, let me sort that out immediately. So I'm just going to create some sleeves. Oh, I wish I could make a dress for myself this easily. Just rip, rip, pop, 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 pop. So that will make better sense, I think, visual sense, because we've got this and then well, I've got my paint here. I'll just go straight over it, get stuff down. Oh, cuteness plus. And then I'll define it a little bit more later, but for the time being, we've got this happening, this happening. And if I want to get this to sort of come along a little bit more so there's a transition from the paper to the washi, paint's a good one. And I've had that, uh, the acrylic there, so this should just go straight on. And then it just, it's a bit of a transition from whatever's going back here. If I scrumble that in a bit especially, just fuzz that in. It's the same as with any collage. I want to bring a bit of this over here, a bit of that up there, and so you can't really. I love it when I look look back at my work. I can't really remember how I did it or what I used. Um, I, find, I sort of find that quite fun because it's not important. Well, I suppose it is if you want to recreate it, but I've usually got a video for that in my case, so there you go. And if I want to change anything about this, again, I can use this as an eraser as well. And then once this is dry, any little beading -y up bits, I can just come back over and rejig as we go. Now this face, just need to match these skin tones, that's not matching it at all, it's much, much peachier. Okay. Oh, there we go. Even this one here, I, I like having the darker skin there, but I just I need to match it up to a bit of this sort of peachiness, just so it doesn't stand out so much. But I can also paint, come bring some of this other colour up here and paint over her that washi tape a little bit. Bring her nose a little bit because so, her face is turning a little bit now. So I'm just going to bring her features over a little bit. Oh, we're watching this thing called Masters of the Air. Oh, it's got, oh, is it Austin Butler Green from, he did um, Elvis. It's so, it was so good. Really enjoying it. Be looking for something to watch. Mm. You know, it's that ridiculousness of war. It's just such a waste of life of young people. But it's a good movie. It's a good show.
just adding a little bit of detail in there. The nose is a little slight mess, but only, only temporarily. Just have to let the face decide what it wants to do a bit more. Gradually turning her face little bit by little bit. Because the eyes are turning. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. She says with hope in her heart. <laughs> Let's make the lips a little bit brighter. Huh? Maybe it will define around here a little bit. I might do this with pink. So she's got her little dress on. And this one we might define with a different colour, might go blue, turquoise, or baby blue. No, this blue. Just sort of looking at these blues here. I've got a bit of the chrome in there. I'm just going to come over here and their little hands will be here. Um, Yes, I think, I think um, that looks good, doesn't it? Is Brandy Glanful in that, in, a, in one of those? I like her. Righty-o. The YouTube premium that I've got, it's, um, I think mine's $14 a month. Might have just gone up a little bit, but it's cheaper than any other uh, of the other things. I hate it when there's just every new show that seems to come out, and when I'm not subscribed to it, I just, I can't be subscribed to everything. It's so annoying. Eventually, there'll be one thing that's a subscription for everything. We'll be back to the old cable TV thing. Just someone will come up with a trillion dollar idea. Just have everything under the one thing so you don't have to have 60 subscriptions. I don't need Disney unless there's something Star Warsy coming out, and then I have to we have to get the subscription back happening for Disney. <laughs> but other than that, I don't need it. Okay. Oh, and this little, the Wonder Writer, this is such a great little pen. It's the same sort of ink as what you find in a Sharpie. So it is an alcohol base and it really does go over the, whoops, over the top of everything. They dry very, very quickly. It's got this super fine um, end and a medium fine end. A fine end and a super fine end. But I use this a lot for 
labeling things as well so with pens and when I'm putting different inks in them so that's why it's a uh, with I put on here waterproof labeling pen because it's just so useful for that but really it's a wonder it's wonderful and it writes on just about everything and it's permanent and all that good stuff so it's going to be good for this uh, little lady because I'll be able to add a bit of definition. Just don't want to be dragging it through wet paint, of course. Very few pens like that. Completely redefine everything. There we go. Just bring that gear back a little bit more. That's her chin. Because we've really created a new little face there. Don't really need that ear visible. So put some little details in here. Maybe even for her little hat. She looks a bit worried about her. I think she's like, what, 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 what have you done with your eyes? They're surgically enhanced and now they're very large. What's going on? Did it hurt? Am I going to have to do that too now? This is what she's, she's wondering. So this, is, I'm just writing straight onto that washi tape there. But I can use those to create little, just little simple little outfits and it's got that shading there. If I want to knock that back further, I could just come and add more paint on there at any point. I think I might add a little bit of, I think we need just a little bit of something here. I might do a little bit more of my... The walking girls are sort of like the walking dead but they're the walking girls so they're not dead but they are walking the strutton actually just so we're connecting things and then i could also add a bit of because that might be a bit too um, close Yeah, so what other little questions have you got for me? Is that washi tape fun? Mm, mm. Just answer my mum. Okay. Should we put these girls in here? Let's layer. Okay. See, and I could come in here and add a little bit of definition. So, so say we've got this all happening. Um, define those little eyebrows a bit more. I'll give her some little earrings uh, because you know she is out and about. And if this was a little brim, if this was a little hat. Would that have a little brim or is it just everything planted in it? It's like a pot plant. Everything's just grown from here. It also doesn't have to make sense. Complete sense. The 
could be fun to try and make sense. <laughs> but maybe this is sort of like a little pot, a little dish that she's got on here. And she's growing her her garden. She's got lots on her mind. Especially flowers. Anyway, I've been having a lot of fun. Look at all the beautiful colours that I just used. They just all look nice together. Fun stuff. Okay. Uh, yes, I still have the license to quill. Um, I won't have them forever, but I do have, uh, yeah, if this is your fave, don't just... Uh, think about adding another one at some point because it's just so good. This is better on the washi, the Wonder Writer. And unless you want to add a little bit of the uh, matte medium and then you can, you're widening what it is that you use quite dramatically. Yeah, I can add something else to her. Maybe I should add a little bit of flowers here too. Um, Where's my tip? Oh, she definitely needs a little bit of white in the eyes there. She looks a bit possessed. Oops, I took the black one. Anyway, we'll we'll get there. By hook or by crook. This is just straight. No, no. This is just straight washy here. How's this one go? Oh, brilliant. See, this is an oil-based ink that's in the um, white swan pen. So this is going to be good on the washy. It's just it just is a different type of ink. That's why you need all the things. <laughs> well, you don't. I do. You might not need all the things. I don't want to. I'm not putting any pressure on anyone. It's just, I need all the things. But I've always been like that. Oh, well, that was a lot of uh, fun. Looks like she's been drinking milk. Thank you for joining me. If you want to go and check out the new washi tapes, um, you can also add that, the cute little washi tower as well. Uh, so they come as a set of four. And uh, yeah, they're just super gorgeous. Oh, where can I have these ones? Oh, Zozzy's very happy. He's telling everybody in the planet. I just, I love them. But you know, I do love, I do love me a bit of washi tape. Actually, no, I don't want her on there. Because I've already put the paint underneath. Uh, so I'm going to pull that off. Oh, has that got wet paint underneath? Just have to be a bit careful. I don't lift everything up. I'll just put these here instead. Oh, there's a little bit of a lady happening there. Zozzo. Oh, and Zozzy's doing so well. I'm just waiting to see if he needs that operation. If he does, he does. But until um, uh, there's no rush, there's no rush to have it. So that's good. I'm going to try and keep him nice and slim so that he never needs it. 
but we'll see. That might not even be enough. We'll just see. Okay, my friends. Thank you so much. <laughs> Are there any more uh, questions? Oh, yes, yes. So second opinion went very well. We have a wonderful vet. The other thing is that um, my usual vet, she spoke so highly of her and the specialist too. Like there's no one better. So I'm very lucky that I've got fantastic veterinary advice and um but it's not life-threatening it's it's just a what I, I we can wait and see it's not going to affect um his outcome uh like for arthritis if he has that the, the surgeon will feel a little bit differently but you know i can't be cutting my dog's legs open for no reason you know it's got to be real it's got to be oh anyway Really, I struggled with that. But I struggle with getting them dissexed as well, and they've all been dissexed in the end, but just any operation. I've put too much of myself into it, I think, um, because ugh, who wants to have to go to hospital? Nobody. Okay. I guess please hit the like, subscribe to the channel. I meant to do all those YouTube I watch enough of them to know that's what you're meant to do. Uh, but, yes. Penny says, I'm working on chalk pencil crayons. Like, oh, no, I've got my fluffy white clouds. I only have used the white. Maybe I will in the future. But they have to be, always with my things, it has to be amazing or better than um, something that's already out there or something that is already out there that I can improve a little bit just for my own uh, techniques and for the way that I like to work for mixed media, basically. So... Um, so I, I, I'm always working on things and over time, who knows, um, sometimes things come together. Um, what I wanted to do with the chalk, with the fluffy white clouds is a little bit impossible. You can't sharpen them. So <laughs> I'm always working on new things. Okay, my friends. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, yeah, go and check out the new washi pens. Sorry, the new washi tapes, that washi pen. Brush with fame, so good. Uh, the gessos, what else did we use today? Oh, yes, LTQ. This one. Yeah, you just. Like I said, you don't need all the things. I need all. <laughs> all the things. <laughs> and I will see you uh, later. Bye, my friends. A prompt live on YouTube. I have done prompts live on on here. This is um, putting on a brave face and no, we were trying to save face and tongue in cheek. So I've been doing them as well, sort of, uh, as well for face weary. But yes, we shall. We shall see what happens in the next one. <laughs> Bye.